Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the Raza Pay integration using the Fast API. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. So this is the directory structure which we are going to build right now. Okay. So first of all, let me get the credentials from the previous app so that I can use it. So here we have the payment key IDs. So I'm going to just paste it over here okay so here we have the credentials that i need to paste it right okay so let me close this project let me quit this also or just cancel this okay let me go with our folder so here we are going to create the folder first so this is the folder structure that we have that is razor pay fast api so let's create that folder so here we have that folder new folder fast api create that and here i'm going to create the files okay so let's open the terminal with code base okay so here we have let's create the file step by step that is main.py file first so here let's create that file after this file we have to go with the templates directory so let's create the folder templates after this in the templates we need the file checkout.html so let's create that file after this file go to the static and so go to the folder static where we have the css and the js file inside over here so let's put it there okay done now we have to go with our code base so this is our main file code so let's add this code okay so here we have this code in our main.py okay so first step this is done after that we have to go with the checkout.html file so let's update this also so here we have a checkout.html file save this now we have to run the project with the uicon main app okay so let's go to the terminal run this project and here we have the url okay so open this link and it gives the internal server error something went wrong what it is let's have a look okay the exception acgi the protocol with this this await app ignore function super we have installed the package i think not i guess so let's install the packages which i missed here we have this okay so install this right so control c paste this and install that okay now run this okay so let's open this link again the internal server error will come no routes matching with the static params path okay so i think the static path uh, this that's to be in the static style dot css static here we have the static let me just check this we have a template we will have a static let me go with our html file We don't require this so let's remove that css also at the moment save this what will happen <coughs> because of the css is not coming up so this will give the error okay let's pay now the this is the default <coughs> of the razor pay let's add the phone number Let's go with the card. Let's add the card, test card. Okay, so let's add the CVV, add the number, test. Okay, enter the email. Rajni, continue, maybe later. Sending OTP. So I'll receive the OTP first. So make sure you are adding the correct phone number while doing that okay so currently I am not receiving that OTP number 
I hope so. I am adding the correct phone number. Yes, I have added. I have added the correct one. Meanwhile, when I get the OTP, let's take a look of the code level. Okay. So here we have the code level. Where is our file? Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, let's go to the main pi file. Okay. So first of all, fast TPI framework and the request handling. So you have to import that one for rendering HTML. I'm going to use Jinja templates for sending the JSON. We are going to use the JSON response. Okay. And for the Razor Pay SDK for the payment processing, you have to install this package. Okay. OS an option for the environment variables. If you want to set, okay, initialize the fast app with this or set up. The, now we have to set up the Jinja templates for rendering the front end pages with the templates directory. Okay, now we have this code. Razor pay pay credentials replace with your actual Razor pay key, Razor pay keys, and here we have a Razor pay key ID and the key secret. Okay, so you have to make add it. Okay, so if you don't know how to get this keys, in the last video we have talked about this how to get the key ID and the key secret. Initialize the Razor pay client with the pay credentials with this. Okay. After that, we have to go render the checkout page with the Razor pay key for the front end use. Currently, I'm not receiving the resend the OTP. Now OTP is sent. Let's see. I hope soon. I'm adding the correct phone number. Let me check this. Let me add update this. Let me just continue with this. Let's see. Hopefully it will work. Because the OTPs are not coming. Okay. So till then let's go with this. Now we have the route home. So render the checkout page with the Razor Pay front end use. Okay. So here you can see that we are going to render the checkout.html file okay with the requested razor pay key id now for the creating an order we have to go with create order creates the razor pay order with the pre-defined amount that is 500 the amount is given i think we will do with this scan also if it is possible upi okay let's add the upi no. Okay, let's do. Okay, verify and pay. Confirming payment and payment successful. Okay, and uh, it will redirect in one second that payment done. Okay, so this is payment done. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the create order that is for the 5,000 5, because you have to amount in PESA, we have to add then currency. Okay, after that, the auto capture payment upon the successful transaction. So you have to create the order object, right? Then send the order details to the JSON as a front, the front end. Okay, after that, we have to do the verification of the payment that is done or not. So verify the payment, verify the payment signature received from the Razor Pay, ensure that the payment integrity and authenticity. Okay, so Razor Pay payment ID, order ID, and the signature. After this, verify the Razor Pay payment signature with the help of this, then return the status whether it's a success or the fail. Okay, on the behalf of it, we will do the handling with the payment done or payment not done. Okay, so which is go over it, which is already added over here. Here you can see that word wrap. So here you can see that here on the but on the click of the button listener, we are going to call the API that is create order. And here this is the post API. And here we are going to create the options values for this. Okay. After this done, after the response, we are going to just call another API that is verify payment. Okay. And passing all the JSON string over there. Okay. After the verification response, we get I will check that the, it is success or the failed. According to it, we will manage the status and return or make an alert payment successful done or not. Okay, so this is how you can do that. Right. 
so any doubt any query in that do let it in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day